Uh, my name is Samuel Gacca. I'm the Simulator Vehicle Dynamics Coordinator here at the Alfa Romeo F1 Team Orlen. I have an opportunity to work with a lot of the different departments to kind of bring together a whole lot of different information. We have a really detailed vehicle model to simulate the physics of the race car. We use that for a lot of different simulations here. We spend really a lot of time to make sure that the things that we test in the simulator are giving the driver the correct inputs that they need to feel the same kind of sensations. Every year with the new car is always a little bit different. You always need to kind of adjust your assumptions from beforehand. So this is actually an example of one of the steering wheels that the race drivers would use on the real car. But what's important for us on the simulator to do is actually to give him kind of a fully immersive simulation of being in the race car. So everything that he touches, the seat that he sits in, the pedals, it's identical to what we have on the race car and it kind of sits on top of this motion platform. We have here all of the same kind of functions that he can use to control different systems on the real car. They're also linked to the corresponding models that we have inside of the simulator. So the display here shows him the same kind of statistics or information that he would have when he's in the real car. I would be pretty useless without STEM skills. Obviously, since we're talking about a simulation, you need to have a pretty strong background in physics and math. Any kind of skills manipulating data are extremely important and something that's also not to be undervalued, I would say, is technical communication skills. I'm constantly interacting with kind of specific software to look at telemetry data from the race car or from the simulator. Vehicle model simulations are among the most jealously guarded pieces of intellectual property for a Formula One team because it's here where the work of the entire team comes together and we see actually the first results. We generate an incredible amount of data. We require some pretty powerful and impressive technology and that's where the concept D5 comes in handy. With the latest processors and also the discrete graphics card, it has enough horsepower to help us stream the telemetry in real time, not only from the simulator but also the, the race cars. We have hundreds of thousands of data points and thousands of channels all coming across the screen at the same time. And actually the 3K display, which is designed for pinpoint precision and also color accuracy, really helps us to highlight the most relevant or important information at any given time. I think the biggest advice that I can give is to be a little bit open-minded and to be really kind of persistent. You never really know what will be the kind of key experience or the key connection that you make that will give you the opportunity to realize your dream. Thanks for watching this episode of STEM Lab Decoded. Please join us for the next video to discover how Acer and Alfa Romeo F1 Team Orlen support innovators in STEM. Oh.